Hello everyone, my name is Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your very own sulforaphane supplements using broccoli microgreens. I'm going to take you through every step of the process, but first I want to talk about why sulforaphane is significant to the growing community of people who want natural and holistic solutions to human health. Sulforaphane is a big deal because there are thousands of scientific studies on sulforaphane, 30 of which included human clinical trials. And that's a lot of research, a lot of money, a lot of human effort into studying something that's not a drug. It's also not a vitamin. It's not a mineral, it's not a fatty acid. Sulforaphane is actually a phytonutrient and what a monster one at that. One study found that sulforaphane activates something called phase two detoxifying enzymes which help the body eliminate potential carcinogens, or in other words, it may reduce the risk of certain cancers, including the biggest ones like breast, prostate, and colon cancer. Another study showed that sulforaphane has anti-inflammatory properties, which means that it might be beneficial in helping manage chronic diseases, where inflammation is a key factor like heart disease or arthritis. And a later study suggested that these same properties could go all the way to neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's because of their ability to potentially reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the brain. It is for these reasons and many more that thousands of people are beginning to incorporate sulforaphane in their diet. And did you know that one of the best and cheapest ways to do this is with broccoli. You see, broccoli contains something called glucorphanin, which is the precursor to sulforaphane. And broccoli already has more of it than any other vegetable, and sprouts and microgreens specifically contain between 10 to 100 times more of it than full-grown broccoli. Generally speaking, for phytonutrients, they will peak between days 10 to 14 and that's the stage of broccoli microgreens versus a sprout, which is harvested between day two and five. Here I have three trays of organic Wellham broccoli. It should yield about a pound and a half. I'm gonna weigh everything, dry it evenly, and I'm excited to see how many supplements we can get out of these. And now let's get into how to grow them. As usual, I'm growing in 10 by 20 trays from Bootstrap Farmer. I always have a tray without holes, sitting in a tray with holes. Now the first thing we're going to do is spread out a shallow medium. I'm growing in Pro Mix, and these trays fit around two quarts. Then I'm going to give the medium a good saturation with water, and now I'm going to spread out my seed. And for each 10 by 20 tray, I seed with 0.65 ounces of organic Wellham broccoli seed. I use a little cup and just shake it over. Do your best to spread it evenly. Then we're gonna give it one last good saturation of water, cover it with another tray, I also put on a weight, and then it goes into germination. And from here, over the next few days, I'm going to mist water it once to twice a day. Once they have sprouted and grown to half an inch to an inch, then we're going to put them into a period called blackout, which is where you're gonna cover each tray with another tray for the next day. During this period, the sprout will stretch out looking for light, making it easier to harvest as well as increasing the weight. Once blackout is done, we take the tray off and put them under the light. And from this point on, I bottom water once to twice a day by lifting up the top tray and watering under. You want enough so that the medium is well saturated but not waterlogged. In between 10 to 14 days, that's when you can finally harvest them. And now I'm gonna go ahead, harvest all of these microgreens, weigh them, then divide them evenly on these drying racks for a dehumidifier. All right, I guessed it on the dot. This is just over a pound and a half of fresh broccoli microgreens. And each one of these trays has two ounces weight on it. And by dividing it this way, I'm gonna be able to give a better figure at how many supplements you can expect to get off of this weight. If you're gonna use a dehumidifier like me and you have these little tray racks here, I would advise try and keep it from the edges if you can. It'll make your life easier pulling them in and out. Also, I wouldn't stack them too thick because I wanna fit all of them in there. I'm worried I might not be able to. 
In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and stack these now as I move them over, hoping that I'll flatten them even more so that I can get all of them in. Then I'm going to put it in the dehumidifier and you don't have to do it this way. You could leave it out to dry. I wouldn't put it in direct sun. Some people will also put it into the oven. In either case, you want to dry it at under 125 degrees. And this is important because anything dried at over 125 degrees, you're risking it losing its nutritional value. All right, the broccoli microgreens are done being dried in the dehumidifier. I have a tray of 14 ounces and 10 ounces, and the goal is to fill 100 capsules with them because that's how many we can fill at once using this cool capsule filling machine I'm gonna show you here in a second. I think I may need all of it, but just in case I dried another 10 ounces if I do need more. Now the next step is to grind these dried microgreens into a powder form. I'm gonna use a commercial grade grinder. You do not need one this nice. If you had like a Nutribullet or something like that, it's gonna do the same job. It just may take a little bit longer. And a quick tip, when you're done grinding, leave your top on for a little bit because this is dried herb. Some of that will powderize. And I notice if I pull it off too early, you just get this green poof cloud coming out. And that's all the powder that we actually want because when we're done grinding, we are going to dump it into a sifter. And the sifter will weed out all the largest particles, letting only the finest powder fall through. And that's what we want for our supplements. This fine powder is a potent concentration of all the compounds in the microgreen. And what's left on top, you can regrind and then re-sift, or you can use it in some other ways we'll talk about here soon. This is gonna, this is gonna take me a while, but it, this really did a great job. And there it is. All right, now that we have our powder ready, it's time to make our supplements. And I'm using this capsule fill machine by the sponsor of this video, Blake Co. Blake Co offers papes, capsules, capsule fillers, and accessories. They're on a mission to make it easier to be healthy in the midst of all the different supplements and powders and medications that many of us take. For example, their Blate Papes, which are these gel film pouches used for taking powdered herbs, medications, or supplements. It's made from one ingredient. It's vegan, gluten-free, and non-GMO. Same thing with all of their capsules. And I actually eat a kosher diet, so I was looking for some vegan products because honestly, capsules, gels, gummies. They're made with some things that I personally don't want to eat. And this capsule fill machine that I'm using is from their core series, the size double zero. And they invented this to make it easy for people like you and I to start making our own supplements and avoid many harmful additives in other supplements in the process. They sent me this cool size checker as well for supplements. Size double zero is the second largest, which I thought was perfect for these sulforaphane supplements. They also sent me these amber glass jars with the custom wood caps. This I'm sure is for storing supplements. This texture and color I'm sure is to like sort of block out light and to keep things inside well kept. And I heard they're coming out with some other things. I'm not gonna mention them all, but this company is great. They clearly really believe in their product they have a ton of great reviews, and I'm gonna go through making these supplements with their capsule filling machine right now. All right, let's open the box. All right, let's go over our parts. This is the spill guard. This is the body plate. This is the capping plate. This is called the middle plate. This is the frame plate, and this is our tamper, which is used to push them down and compact the supplement. This is your powder spreader for spreading the powder over as you pack the supplements in. This is a little spoon tool, which is also used to flip any capsules if needed. Then we have a little screwdriver, and this handle attaches to the tamper. So the first thing we're gonna do is attach this handle to the tamper. And you also need to know that your capsules will come split up. This is the body of the capsule where most of the supplement will go in. 
and this is the cap of the capsule and these will be used differently in the process. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do is place the body plate on a flat surface. Then we're going to place the frame plate on top of it. Now what we do is we're gonna pour in a hundred of the larger body capsules on here. And then we're going to shake them until they all fall into place. I pour too many on here. I see that it's important to make sure you actually pour a hundred on there. I'm surprised how well shaking that worked. I had way too many in there. But then what we gotta do if is manually make sure that each one has a capsule in it. And if you find one that fell in backwards, I see one right here. I believe this tool is used to help pull that out. Pop that back in, boom, good to go. Once you know that every hole has a large body capsule half in it, then we're gonna take the frame plate off and put the spill guard on. And then it's time to go ahead and put our powder right on to start filling them up. Then we're gonna use our spreader here to spread it around. Best way to do this I'm finding is just back and forth, back and forth until you see them all get filled up. Then what you do is we're gonna take our tamper here Put it on and we want to try and compress that in and then we can go back to filling it. Right, we're going to tamper again, push it down, get it nice and compact. Wow, that ended up being perfect. Once that's done, we're going to move our body plate to the side and then bring in our capping plate. And then we're gonna put the frame plate on top of the capping plate. And then we're gonna toss 100 of the caps for the capsules. I'm gonna go way less this time. And we're gonna shake this gently till we get them to fall in. Flip any ones over, make sure each of them have one in it. All right, we got a few of these to flip around. All right, once you know that every spot has a small cap in it, we're gonna go ahead and pull the frame plate off. Oh, I can see a few of these stuck. That is okay. We still got the majority of them in there, nice and easy. And then we're gonna place the white middle plate on top of that. Then we're gonna push that back off to the side. We're gonna bring in our body plate. I'm gonna go ahead and get the excess here off. Then while holding them together, I'm going to flip the capping and middle plate onto the body plate. And then what we're gonna do is press down firmly and evenly across the plate. Three, two. And then we're gonna lift up the capping plate. And boom. There they are. And we can take off the middle plate here. Oh, it looks like two got away. Just take this, push it off to the side. There they are, folks. Your very own sulforaphane supplements made from broccoli microgreens. So now we're gonna bring in the scale. We just zeroed it out with an empty capsule. Now we're gonna start weighing some, 0.5. So what that means is that each of these capsules have half a gram of the very fine ground and potent broccoli microgreens, which has the glucorophanin, which is the precursor to the sulforaphane. Now, I don't know exactly how much sulforaphane is in these, but based on estimates, I mean, with half a gram, you could probably be taking anywhere between two and six of these every day. Now I'm gonna take one of these amber jars, go 
go ahead and start putting in our supplements. Perfect size for a hundred natural supplements. So I have to say, that was pretty cool. Seeing a hundred supplements come out of this machine, just the culmination of the work from growing the microgreens, drying them, grinding them, it was just satisfying. And I look forward to making some more. And now what I wanna do is just run a few numbers, putting aside that now we have sulforaphane supplements, which are extremely healthy and so good for the body. I think it's a good question to ask, how much does this cost? Okay, to grow one of these trays of broccoli microgreens cost me roughly six to seven dollars per tray. And that includes everything. The cost for seeds, for soil, for energy, and a little bit per tray for an organic sea mineral fertilizer that I use. So to grow three trays costs $21. Now our capsule filling machine here cost $50. They have a model of this that's actually only 35. This is the clear version, which I thought was cool. And we also got a thousand capsules and this was $20. Now you can find some cheaper ones on Amazon, but if you want the highest quality, you're gonna have to go ahead and choose Blayco. Now this means, assuming you have lights, you have racks, something to grow them on, and trays, something to grow them in, this runs you just under $100 to do. That's pretty cool. Now let's say you don't have these things. Well, I'm using Barina T8 full spectrum grow lights. I recommend these all the time. You can get them from two foot to four foot, and they're gonna run you no more than $90 for a pack of six. Now these racks are nice racks. This is a commercial operation, guys. So these are $100 each. You don't need that. You could pick up a rack for 30 bucks that's going to do the same job. And just remember to get the length of light that fits the racks you get. And these trays here by Bootstrap Farmer, you get in packs of five. We need trays with holes and tray without holes, which will run us $65. So then the grand total for everything is going to be just under $300. Now, a few things to say here, the racks, the lights, the trays, the capsule filling machine is all a one-time expense. Whereas the broccoli microgreens would be continual. So that's $21 to make one month's worth of supplements. Since the capsules, a hundred will last us a month and we have a thousand, that means we're only gonna have to buy these $20 once every 10 months. So in other words, once you get past that initial investment, guys, you're essentially spending $140 to make a year's worth of the highest quality sulforaphane supplements. Like these are not seed extract supplements, okay? There's no fillers, there's no additives. These are made from fresh and pure organic broccoli microgreens, which if you look online, the highest quality sulforaphane supplements run people between 70 to $100 for a one to two month supply. So that is actually pretty awesome because in the long run, just like any DIY setup, it's going to save you a lot of money. I think that is a great deal and that is made possible, one, by channels like mine, which do our best to teach you how to grow some of your own food, but also companies like Blayco, which is making it easier for us to get rid of the middlemen and make these things ourselves. Be sure to visit the description to bladepapes.com to pick up one of your very own capsule filling machines. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if I provided you value. Subscribe if you wanna see more, and I'll see you in the next one.